One of the greatest challenges facing caregivers today is knowing what care resources are available. And one of the most misunderstood resources available to caregivers and their families is hospice. For many Americans, the topic of hospice and hospice care remains a mystery. Many adult children are confused as to what hospice and hospice care really is and what it can do. But joining us with more is Jennifer Sheets, Senior Vice President, Clinical Operations with Gentiva Health Services. Welcome, Jennifer. Such an important topic. So glad to have you with us today. Thank you for having me. Just right off the bat, you've said that hospice is misunderstood by caregivers. And what, what can you really tell me about that? Hospice care, most people believe, is really about death and dying. Um, when in actuality, hospice care is about living. It's mm -hmm. about the highest quality of life possible when you get to that final journey. It's designed to not only care for the patient, but care for the family as well, which is different than any other healthcare setting. So the support for the family during this time is huge. That is huge. And so a family decides that hospice is right for them. What's the process they go to to receive this benefit? So I think when the goal of care moves to, I don't want to bounce in and out of the hospital. Right. Um, I want to be at home. I want to be surrounded by my family and my friends, not in an ICU or, you know, a, restricted visitors, restricted hours. And uh, I think the important thing is a conversation starts there. Have a conversation with your physician, your family, express the goals of care. Um, the most important thing is if you feel like hospice care is right for you or your loved one, don't wait. There's such a benefit in getting care as soon as you're eligible. And so the entire team comes in for care and that care comes into the home, right? Absolutely, so home hospice care is provided wherever home may be. So it may be a, a nursing home or a facility. Mm -hmm. It may be a friend, a family member's home, or the house that's been your home for years. So a whole team comes in. They provide not only specialized care for the patient, but again, care and support for the family when they need us the most. And typically, who comprises a hospice team? All hospices have to have a team that consists of a physician, a registered nurse, a social worker, and a, a pastor or some kind of counselor. Um, at Gentiva, we take it a step further, and so we offer a, an RN case manager that's specially trained, a hospice-trained aide, a hospice-trained volunteer, and then five national medical directors that are just known really well in the industry and provide support for our local physicians. Wow, that's an amazing team you put together. They are all rock stars, that's for <laughs> sure. And when we come back, we'll learn more about hospice and hospice care at home, so stay right where you are. We have so much more after this. We're back with Jennifer Sheets and we're talking hospice and hospice care at home. And Jennifer, you work with one of the largest home health care and hospice providers. And in your opinion, what makes Gentiva different? Hands down, I would say our clinicians. Mm. As one of the largest home care and hospice providers, we truly invest in our bedside care through resources, technology, education. We really want to give as much time as we can at that patient's bedside. I also think we look for something very special in a Gentiva clinician. We look for that person that truly believes that every minute counts in somebody's life. Um, I, I ride with clinicians all the time, coast to coast, and, and I'm always amazed not only by their skill, but by their care, their compassion, their dedication to their job. I once had a nurse say to me that hospice was not her job, hospice was her calling. And I really believe that's what it is for a lot of our clinicians. It's a calling to do something more. That is so wonderful to hear. And who is eligible for hospice care? And, and how is that determined? So when the goal of your care is really to stop bouncing back and forth in the hospital, when you want to be home, surrounded by your family and your friends, you need to consider hospice. It might be the right option for you. Um, again, don't wait if you think you may be eligible or you have a loved one that might be eligible. There's a real benefit to getting care as soon as possible. Eligibility is determined by a, a coordination. So it's a coordination between the patient's regular physician and then the hospice medical director and as well as a comprehensive exam. Now what's the single, in your opinion, biggest misconception about hospice? That hospice care is the place that you go when there's nothing else that can be done. That mm -hmm. hospice care is the place for the person that's going to die tomorrow or the person that is in a coma. 
Um, hospice is really the something that can be done. Hospice is real help when you need it, the most vulnerable time in your life, the most vulnerable time for the family, and it's real support when you need it. I, I hear from families all the time as well. Top two things that I hear are, number one, I wish I had had it sooner. Mm. And number two, from the minute that hospice walked in the door, I felt like I could breathe again. I felt like I could be the daughter or the right. son again. And we hear that over and over and over. And I think that's one of the biggest misconceptions. And hospice really is dedicated as much to the caregivers as they are to the patients. So interesting to hear you say that. Let's talk a little bit more about the caregivers, ones who haven't considered hospice. What would you say to them? One of my very favorite letters that I received was from a gentleman who said hospice care allowed him to be the husband again to his wife when she needed him the most. Well, you can't get any better than that. You can't, and, and I've been through it, and I know that you feel isolated. You feel like you're alone. You feel like you don't have anybody walking this, dif this difficult path with you, but there's help out there, and that's what I'd say to everybody. Don't, don't be alone. You're not alone. There's so many resources, and, and even though a patient may not be eligible for hospice right away, there are other resources, home health, community care, all of those that Gentiva provides that can help transition the patient when they're ready to the right setting. And speaking of resources, is hospice covered by Medicare and, and what, what's included in the benefit? It's absolutely covered by Medicare. Hospice services are covered by Medicare, Medicaid, and most private insurances. Um, people don't usually realize the benefit of hospice also covers medications that are related to the, the hospice diagnosis. It covers supplies, it covers equipment. So for example, briefs and gloves and oxygen, wheelchairs, specialty beds. Um, we hear that a lot from families too, that, that just somebody being that liaison to get the equipment that I needed, somebody picking up the medications for me versus a, you know, a daughter or a son trying to do it while working or balancing family life. So there's a lot that comes with that benefit as just a part of the benefit. And important, how can interested viewers find Gentiva in their area? At our website, gentiva.com, there's a location finder and you can find the Gentiva closest to you. Well, this was so important this morning and something I think we all need to be aware of and hear. And thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. All right, if you'd like to learn more about hospice and hospice health care, visit us at thebalancingact.com or share with us any of your personal experiences on this subject. Simply log on to Facebook forward slash thebalancingactfans. Mm -hmm.